what's poppin'? Yep, I am back after being MIA for like about a month, which I know some of y'all that, you know, follow me or faithful subscribers are well aware that I have been MIA for about a month. And one of the reasons for that, I'm going to let y'all guys know now, is the fact that um, it was, I'm not going to go into details to bore you guys or get personal into my business, but um, long story short, had a little mini accident, but ended up needing a major surgery. So, was in the hospital, and I'm home after like three weeks, you know, still healing and everything, one day at a time. But, now I am back, and just in time to get into my unboxing for you guys. And, it turns out, the first one happens to be Loot Crate, which um, I'm excited about because I've been waiting for this box for months and months and months and months. Um, this is the old one after, um, I think the previous video I did on, um, Loot Crate was the, um, the Slaycation. And I was kind of, like, trying to guess what was going to be in the box. Um, I was saying it's probably, like, some woodsy horror movie, like, with, with teen slashers and stuff, you know, like Slaycation. But I was completely way off. Um, it had to do with, it was a trick-or-treat um, enamel pins, like a set of 12, there was, um, a pencil sharpener, <laughs> an alien's pencil sharpener, which, that was freaking awesome, I kept that, um, I'm selling the pins, though, there was, uh, I think, like, two, one or two other small things in there that, um, is being sold on eBay at the moment, there is, um, I do have auctions on eBay selling some of the horror stuff from the boxes, from my unboxings that I did not keep. Also, including Freight Freight, um, the Bam Box, and Zobie. So, I got those listings on eBay for sale right now. But the stuff that I don't keep from these boxes, yes, they are being sold. That's why I tell you guys, if I mention in my unboxings that I'm not going to be keeping it, I'm going to be selling it. I let you guys know first, in case you want a heads up and, like, buy it before I put it on... You know, uh, post it on eBay to sell it. You know, I give you guys first and everything. Um, you know, just from being my fans. So, um, I'm excited about this too because it does have a bit of a weight to it. Which I'm, like, literally surprised. I mean, it has a bit of weight to this one. Um, I'm guessing there probably might be, um, maybe a glass, a mug, something. Um... A bust, maybe. But, I don't know. And, um... But, yeah, I will be getting back into, um... <clears throat> my other boxings. But, that won't be for about another two weeks from now. Uh, because I, I do have boxes coming from Zobie again. Once again, Fright Crate and um, my band box. Those will be coming monthly still doing those i'm actually doing another loot crate i am ballsy enough to order <laughs> i am purchasing one more um loot crate box because of the the um the theme that's coming out for next month i couldn't resist um one of the themes is the shining so and i'm a big fan of shining merchandise so um yeah anything that says shining on it i'm gonna get it <laughs> um not that I'm going to keep everything, obviously, but, I mean, majority of the stuff from The Shining, I probably will end up keeping it because I'm a huge Stephen King fan. Um, most of the merch from his movies, like Carrie, you know, um, Christine, Green Mile, I mean, I'm not going to list all of them. Y'all guys know Stephen King. If you're a big Stephen King fan, you know pretty much his movies. I got almost all his books. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, um... But yeah, I'm I'm excited to get into this. I'm just chatting a little bit to finish my cigarette. So y'all guys could be patient a little bit longer. My cousin just dropped this box off to me from the mailbox literally just like about 10-15 minutes ago. So um I'm already losing patience. I wanna open this open this up and see what I got up in here. Hopefully it's not junk. I hate when, you know, I open boxes, I get all excited for a box and then I end up opening it and there's nothing but garbage or like junk or stuff that I really don't like or stuff that I don't want 
and just the name of it, Satanic Panic. I mean, there can be literally anything in this box. Uh, I mean, um, I could guess, like, last time, but I'll probably be, like, way off. If I had to go with Satanic Panic, something with the devil, probably something like, uh, Rosemary's Baby, or, like, The Exorcist or something, or Evil Heart, you know, like, something like Poltergeist stuff that has to do with, like, demons or, like, um, um, entities that you don't see and shit, like, that people getting possessed, but I'm not, <laughs> don't quote me this time, I was completely wrong, like I said, on the slaycation box, I was way off, it had to do with school, stuff for school, oh yeah, and then it was like, um, a Pennywise pencil case, I mean, I was on that box, so, um, yeah, it's horrible, me guessing with, just by these names, they, the names do not go with what they put in the box, I mean, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I would come up with different names for that shit. You know, like, um, some horror, some horror name that has to rhyme with school, you know. Um, I don't know. I don't think there is one, though. Like, a school day slay or some shit. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> coming up with stuff at the top of my head. I mean... Depending on the stuff that's in here, I'll probably end up seeing if I could come up with some weird name of what the name of the box would have been for this one. <laughs> I don't know. We're about to find out. I hope you guys like these unboxings. I, um... I've definitely been enjoying them. Not only that, it's uh, it's beneficial to my my horror fan subs too, because um, stuff that I don't want, I can sell it to them. You know, sell it to you guys at a really cheap price, a really good price. You know, I'm I'm not about screwing anybody over. It's just trying to make everybody happy of stuff that I don't want. So you know, why not sell it to you guys for you know at a lower price? And then if you want to sell it on eBay for a more expensive price, you can. That's your business. You know, I'm not about screwing anybody over. It's make trying to, just trying to make everybody happy. Especially, I mean, if something I don't like, what am I going to do with it? You know, give it away, throw it in the garbage, you know. I'm not going to do that, especially if it's something I paid money for. So I figure I might as well sell it, you know, at a reasonable, good, lower price. I usually go by the prices that it's selling for online. And when I see the price, if I think, like, there's prices I've seen on eBay mostly. A lot of these sell on eBay the most. And I gotta tell you, like, from one art print, the company was selling, uh, an autographed art print for, like, $60. And I was like, that's literally how much the whole freaking box cost. Like, why are you gonna try to screw people over? Like, I don't like that. So, there was another seller, like, selling it for, like, 25 or, like, 30 So, I was like, I'll sell it for 20 you know, and I'll pay for the shipping. So, I was like, you know, I'll make it a few dollars lower and what they're going for online, you know, to be generous with people. I'm just very big-hearted like that, you know. But, um, enough of that. Let's get into this box. And the good thing about this is that it's actually, um, yeah, the seals on these. It's only this one little tiny red seal right here. It's easy to pretty much open, so that's about it. See, there we go. <laughs> it's open. Okay, let's see what we got on. Hopefully, give me some good stuff. Let's get some good stuff. Alrighty. Uh, whoops. Oh, it's upside down. Okay, right away I know I got a t-shirt. And if I don't like this t-shirt, yeah, I'll sell them for what they're going through. I don't usually lower the price on those. I'll sell, I sell the t-shirts for about 20 That's what they go for online. Anywhere you go, they're actually more expensive than some websites like um, um, Fright Rags. is like... 28 bucks, and then you gotta pay for the shipping, it's close to like 30, 30 bucks, a little bit over just for a shirt, I mean, so if I'm selling this shirt, if I don't like it, I already got sh uh, four shirts actually up for sale right now, Candyman, um, House on Haunted Hill, Leatherface, Cutting Up a Pumpkin, and, um, The Thing, I got four shirts right now, two are medium, one is large, and one is small, so, um, I got four shirts up for sale right now, that's $20 a piece, so, um, that's actually a good price. I believe that's a good price because you're not going to get them for any cheaper online, honestly. 
Um, so yeah, but let's get into this. Okay, right off the bat, there's like two boxes. There's two things with boxes in here. A shirt, and, oh shit. Check this out, a mad ball. This actually saved me from going and buying one. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I got the Freddy Krueger one. So, here's the first item. Bam! The Jason Voorhees Mad Ball. So, this actually saved me the trouble of actually going and purchase, purchasing this. So, this is actually... See, this is what I'm saying. Like, I would have expected Jason to be... In the Slaycation box, like not in the Satanic Panic <laughs> box, but this I'm very stoked. I'm excited. I haven't even opened anything yet. There's two big boxes in here, and a shirt left. So um, and I'm already excited just from a Mad Ball. <laughs> so um, and this is really cool. Okay, now I got the um, now I got the both the major ones that I wanted was um. Actually, I want to see if they got the Michael Myers one. I would like to get the three of them. Because I got Freddy Krueger, now I got Jason. And, uh, yeah, I would like to get that one. Okay, so, next. I'm actually going to go with the T-shirt first. So, um, let's see, got a card in here. Thanks for being a looter. Uh, that's about it on there. Want more info about the Epic Gear you just unboxed? Learn about what the crate of the Freddy Krueger is. Alright, so that's just, um, okay, they don't have a cheat sheet in here this month, I thought they would have had one. Okay, this is a satanic thing, that, uh, bull's head, you know, like that thing that looks like a horse, kind of, thing. Um, you know what, actually, I'm not gonna do the shirt yet. <laughs> I usually like doing the shirt last. Okay, let me go with this one. It's, uh. I'm going to check the box on the outside first to see if it says what it is. The last time I went to open the mug, and I didn't know, well, the glass, it was a glass, a pint glass. And I was like, this is heavy, I wonder what's in it. And it literally said it right on the top of the box, and I wasn't even paying attention. But I don't know if y'all could see that from the glare. Like, you could see the the symbol of it. Like, see it right there, you could tell that, I don't know what you call that. Um, but, um. Yeah, let's see what's in here. It's light. So it might be a figurine, maybe. Yeah, okay. And it's him. It's a pen. Uh, it's like a little figurine of him. I, I can't remember what the hell is that. We got boob. Okay. Yeah, this is a figurine. Which, I'll tell y'all now. I'm not a big fan of this. Um, figures like this. They give me the creeps. So I am going to be selling this. I'm not sure how much right now. Probably 10 or 15 bucks. Let's see, it's actually like the picture on the box. It's hard to see from the... Let me take the plastic off the front of it. So y'all can see better. Right. It's actually like the picture I just showed y'all on the box in black and white. See, this is a detailed um, figurine of it. Which, um, as I said, I will be selling this. So, if there's anybody interested in wanting this figurine, give me a heads up. You can offer me a price, because I don't have a price on this yet. So, um, and it's very detailed. Let me see it up close. Um, but, yeah, this, <laughs> the, I forget, like I said, I forget the name of this thing, but, um, this is the only thing in horror that that's now this is why they call it satanic panic because I know this is a satanic figure. I just forgot the name of it, like what they what it's called. And um this is the only thing in horror that literally gives me the creeps and I do not keep any items, photos, merchandise of this, you know, like a bit this figure, this image. Cause it just gives me way too many creeps. <laughs> like fully. Because I'm not a devil worshipper, so you know what I mean? Um, this is a big symbol for people that are devil worshippers. Um, let me put it that way. So, um, you know, and then it has the, which this I do know, it has the pentagram on the back of it. So, um, you can definitely tell that's a huge, the pentagram is a huge, um, you know, uh, a huge symbol dealing with, um, 
Satanism, you know, being a devil worshiper. Let me just put that, put it that way. Okay, so, yep. I am going to be selling this. So, um, yeah, I kind of had a feeling when I seen the image on the box, I had a feeling it was going to be, it was, that's what it was going to be of like, of a, on a mug or something. That symbol. Okay, so this is going to be put up for sale. All right, two more things. I got the shirt and I got another box here. This one has, is a little bit heavier, which I think is probably a mug. Or a, or a figurine, definitely. This has more weight to it than that than that did. So um, let's find out what's in this box now. Jeez, I'm ripping the box. Yep, it's a mug, and it probably has that image on it because I'm looking down inside the mug and I can see a picture of an Instagram inside the mug already. It's a black mug. I'm going to keep this. This is an interesting mug. So, no, I was wrong. Um, okay, the mug says, um, Spellman <laughs> Mortuary, Funerals, Burials, and Rites. It's a little bit creepy. <laughs> drinking coffee, I don't know if I'm going to drink coffee out of a funeral mug. That's a little bit of, uh, gives me the creeps. But, I don't know if y'all can see, like, inside. I try to get close. You can see, um, there is, um, like a, a pentagram picture down inside. Like, I'm trying to get it as close as I can. Like, this is really hard to get the image down inside there. But you can see a little tiny bit of this, like a star, the, the star. It's so much glare, it's hard to see it down in there. I'm trying to get an angle at it, it's actually. Uh, I don't know, y'all could really just a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of the star down in there. Like I said, it's hard with the glare. I would need, like, a flashlight or something. <laughs> but, okay, and the weird thing is, I just turned it upside down, and uh, the, the mug actually says, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. So I'm kind of shocked because I've actually seen, I've watched Sabrina a lot of episodes, and I don't remember anything. Um, oh, that was her last name, Spellman. Okay, um, I don't remember them having a, a funeral home or anything, though. This is actually a movie. I would say this is a movie mug. Because that's Warner Brothers. See, it has uh, her name on the bottom. So, yeah. This is a movie mug. So, um, which is probably, I'm going to say, is a collectible. So, I'm, I'm going to end up keeping this mug. I actually like it. As to drinking coffee or anything out of it, I'm not, I'm most likely, I'm not going to be drinking anything out of it. I'm going to save it as just like a collectible. Probably put it on the shelf or whatever. But, um, yeah, I actually like this. This is cool. So, but, uh, Sabrina is, like, a harmless freaking Sabrina the Teenage Witch. She's harmless. So, I don't really see this as any, like, a satanic panic thing in the box. Just, like, the, 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 <laughs> the Jason Voorhees Mad Ball. Like, I don't see it with that either. Or maybe the fact that they could never kill him. He was literally just a disfigured boy when he was little, and somehow they kept killing him. He kept coming back, so he's probably possessed. Or something, so maybe that's why. Okay, so last is the shirt. So let's see what we got here. I have no idea what this is, but. Bam! Okay, that is the shirt, and I don't know what it is. Um, It's got a lot of crazy shit on it, though. Like, this has, like, a lot of detailed imagery behind it, like the skull. I'm going to scroll up on the shirt a little by little. It has a skull in the middle, the demon with the sword, and it has a, a guy on the side. I don't know who that is. Then keep going down, it has, like, a war kind of thing going on at the bottom. 
you continue going up. It has skulls around. And what does this say? Black, black. The church. Church of Black Club. Black Clock. Black Clock. Okay. That I not seen. That I never heard of. <laughs> okay. So, um. But yeah, and it had that little piece on the bottom. The little skull figure kind of done on the bottom. So, okay, once again, so this is a shirt that I am going to be selling. And like I said, I'll let y'all guys know first. Give y'all a heads up if you want to buy any of the merch. First, before I post it to sell on eBay. This is a size medium, so if any of y'all guys are interested... I sell the shirts for $20 even. I pay for shipping. This is literally like the cheapest you're going to end up getting the shirts for. Because online they will charge you like $20 plus shipping. So I'm actually selling the shirts for cheaper than online. So um, yeah, this is. I am going to be selling this shirt. So um, yeah, as I said, so you guys. Um, the figurine and the shirt. I am going to be putting up for sale. So if any, any of y'all are interested in either of those these two items. Hit me up in the comment section down below, and I will sell it to you before I post it. You can pay me through PayPal, just um, in the description box of PayPal. Just leave me your address, and once the payment clears, I will send it to you. Um, two to three day delivery with a tracking number so you can keep track of it. Um, and yeah, so um, okay, so this is what was in the box. There was no cheat sheet this month, so I don't know. I never heard of this church of, of black clock. I don't know. Some of this I haven't heard of. And I'm forgetting the the name of this figure. I it's like it's there, but I can't like remember right now. So, um this, this wasn't too bad. I like half I, I like half of the box. I like three things. Well two I like two things and I'm gonna sell two. The Mad Ball and the mug. The shirt and the, the figurine I'm going to be selling. So, um, Okay, you guys. That's it for this box. If y'all want to make me an offer on the figurine, because I don't really know. Unless I look it up online and see how much it goes for on eBay. And then sell it for 2 or $3 cheaper. Or... Y'all can give me an offer, but... Okay, so that's it for that box. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed half of it, so I guess my rating on this box would be a 50-50. Because -50 <laughs> I liked half, and the other half I didn't. I mean, the shirt's cool, but I'm just not into that. You know, it has to be, like, something I know. Like, um, an image that I know, and I never heard of the Church of Black Clock. Um, I'm sure some of y'all have. Um, but, yeah, I never heard of it. Um, the imagery is pretty cool, got a lot of, you know, details going on in it, looks like a, a battle or something, so, um, yeah, so if you guys like this video, I'm gonna leave this here, so if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, anytime you wanna be notified of a new video, just hit that post notification bell down below in the corner, and <laughs> until I do my next unboxing, you guys, videos.